Everybody hear me okay? Yeah. Veterans, military, public safety, family, friends, and special guests. Thank you all for joining us once again as we gather here on this sacred and solemn day. It is today that we remember and honor those who have made the ultimate sacrifice in defense of the American way of life that we hold so dear. Memorial Day is anything but a joyful holiday. Many of us here today have lost someone close to us who served their country with bravery and honor. Whether it be a family member, a friend, or even an acquaintance, it has affected us deeply. Though Memorial Day is a difficult day for us to face and endure, it is a day that we must observe and respect. Our service members, many as young as 18 years of age, answered the nation's call. They put their own lives on hold so they could, that they could be part of the less than 1% of Americans that wear the uniform. At a young age, they willingly left home knowing they would be going in directly in harm's way. They wanted to be part of something greater than themselves. They wanted to serve their country. Leaving all they knew and loved behind, they deployed to dangerous and faraway lands alongside their brothers and sisters in arms. Together in immediate danger, these brave young warriors built a bond few have ever or will ever experience. A bond so strong that they would lay down their lives for their comrades without hesitation. They made the ultimate sacrifice for the love they had for their country 
their family, and for each other. For them, it wasn't their lives they were concerned about. It was the lives of their comrades. Over the generations, young and heroic Americans have gone to war to defend freedom, defeat tyranny, and liberate the oppressed. At the beginning of it all, in 1776, we broke away from British rule to become our own great nation, the United States of America. It wouldn't have been possible without early patriots laying down their lives for that dream. That dream that became a reality. In 1861, our nation faced another calamity. The American Civil War, where thousands of Americans died fighting one another for what they believed in. In the First World War, our young troops fought and died fighting in the trenches of Europe, many not even receiving a proper burial. Only a few short years later, the world became engulfed in World War II. Americans answered the call, and the greatest generation led the way forward in the largest land invasion of all time on June 6, 1944. A little day called D-Day. Our young warriors fought courageously and died in Vietnam, Korea, and just recently in the War on Terror in Afghanistan and Iraq. One thing has been certain in our nation's history. When our nation calls, brave young Americans answer the call. Memorial Day was originally known as Decoration Day, and it was a day where citizens decorate the graves of fallen soldiers with flowers, flags, and wreaths. It was first observed to remember the sacrifices of soldiers who died during the Civil War. As of the late 1800s, Memorial Day began to become more and more recognized throughout many cities and communities. By World War I, it was the day that the nation honored those who died in all our nation's wars. Despite the slight changes Memorial Day experienced over the years, one aspect has always remained unchanged. It is the day we honor our fallen heroes. Many of you here with us today understand the true meaning of Memorial Day. My fellow, my fellow veterans with us today certainly do. We understand why it is so important that we remember and honor our fallen brothers and sisters. Many Americans across the nation visit family and friends on Memorial Day to enjoy cookouts and the warm summer weather. While there is nothing wrong with these activities at all, we ask that you remember why you can enjoy these freedoms. During your gatherings, remember to take a moment of silence and think about all the brave Americans who gave the ultimate sacrifice so you can enjoy that time with family and friends. If we as a people truly wish to honor our brave heroes, let us be Americans worth fighting for. Let us come together as a united people and really make this the greatest nation on earth. Our fallen service members would want us to be happy and enjoy our freedoms, but they would also want us to be good and productive people. In conclusion, we as Americans must never forget that freedom is not free. Even evil and tyranny shall not be tolerated. The only way to protect innocent lives, liberties, and freedoms is to fight for it. And those freedoms we hold dearly will sadly be paid in human life. Today, when you are at home with your families, think about the enormous sacrifice of human life that has been paid so that we may live in the greatest nation in the world. Remember those valiant and selfless Americans who gave all for the people and country they love. We should enjoy our freedoms, our lives, and our prosperity. They would want nothing less for us. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you for coming out to support and remember and honor our fallen heroes. God bless our fallen heroes. 
God bless their families, and God bless the United States of America. We will now have a flag racing of the Vietnam commemorative flag carried out by our own Vietnam veterans. Thank you. Present.
Thank you all again for coming here today and honoring our fallen heroes. This concludes our Memorial Day service. Uh, you are welcome to join us inside afterwards. We have some food following this. Um, thank you very much for being here and supporting everyone, supporting our fallen heroes, uh, supporting those who made the ultimate sacrifice. Thank you all. God bless you all.